Divorce, a word that carries the weight of heartbreak, confusion, and sometimes even shame. It's a topic that whispers in the pews, hangs heavy in family gatherings, and sparks fiery debates amongst theologians. But what does the Bible, our foundational text, actually say about it? Buckle in, friends, because today we're diving deep into the sacred waters of this complex issue. Firstly, let's shatter a common misconception. The Bible doesn't explicitly outlaw divorce. Deuteronomy lays out specific procedures for dissolving the marriage, acknowledging the reality of broken bonds. However, throughout Scripture, marriage is held in the highest regard. Genesis paints a picture of Adam and Eve, the very fabric of human partnership, woven together by God Himself. Malachi calls it a sacred covenant, declaring, I hate divorce. Malachi 2.16, echoing the importance of cherishing the union. So, where does that leave us? Can one reconcile God's reverence for marriage with the existence of divorce papers? Enter Jesus, the ultimate interpreter of God's heart. In Matthew 5.31-32, he challenges the lax divorce laws of the time, emphasizing the permanence of marriage. He uses strong language, condemning casual separations. But then, a twist, except for sexual immorality. This exception, debated for centuries, throws open a window for nuanced understanding. Is Jesus condoning divorce in cases of infidelity, or is he acknowledging the devastating impact of broken trust, allowing for a painful escape route to protect the wronged spouse? Here's where interpretation and personal conviction come into play. No single verse offers a black and white answer. But before we get lost in the weeds of legalistic arguments, let's shift our focus. The heart of the matter isn't about ticking boxes or legal loopholes. It's about understanding God's intention for marriage. It's about two souls committing to a journey of mutual love, respect, and growth, woven together in a tapestry of forgiveness, grace, and unwavering support. Hold on right there, friend. Before we delve deeper, I want to offer something valuable. This conversation about divorce, about navigating heartbreak, and seeking God's guidance in the midst of it, is just one thread in the intricate tapestry of Christian Rewire. Here, we explore all facets of faith, the joys, the struggles, the doubts, and the unwavering hope that binds us together. If you're hungry for authentic discussions, for wrestling with complex questions through a biblical lens, and for a community that embraces the messiness of faith, then hit that subscribe button. Become part of the rewire revolution, because let's face it, we all need a little rewiring from time to time. Now back to our journey. When a marriage falters before legal documents come into play, the journey inward begins. What went wrong? Were there attempts at reconciliation? Was forgiveness sought and offered? Remember, friends, God is the master of restoration. He specializes in mending broken hearts and breathing life into withered hopes. Don't underestimate the power of prayer, of seeking wise counsel, of fighting for your vows before throwing in the towel. Divorce, though heartbreaking, isn't the ultimate verdict. Even amidst the wreckage, God's grace remains. His love doesn't evaporate with a signed document. He offers healing, hope, and a path forward, even if it's a solitary one. Remember, God's presence isn't contingent on marital status. He walks beside the divorced, the widowed, the single, just as surely as He walks beside the married. This conversation about divorce is merely a stepping stone on the vast landscape of faith. At Christian Rewire, we explore more. We delve into forgiveness, singleness, blended families, and the messy beauty of everyday life, all through the lens of scripture and lived experience. So, join us on this journey. Subscribe, share, and let's rewire together, one conversation at a time. Remember, the knot may have untied, but God's love remains a steadfast thread weaving hope through the tapestry of our lives.